on this episode of ABCD. Our special guest today is Dr. Janine Davidson. Dr. Janine Davidson started this past summer as the ninth president of MSU Denver. Prior to joining the university, Dr. Davidson served as the 32nd Undersecretary of the United States Navy. I am so pumped to get to know more about her with wind breezing through her hair and an ice cold Dasbog drink. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Um, it's good to be here. Get a little hour break, just have a little tea, uh-huh. have a little chat. Raspberry Dazbog situation. Hey, thanks Dazbog for these raspberry lime iced teas. Dazbog, official sponsor. Hey, those Dazbog guys, I met them. Yeah? yeah. Oh, the owners of they're the. Owners, yeah. Steve told me he knows them. He's yeah. like saying their names yeah, on the camera. They're awesome. And you know what? They're going to be big supporters of DACA. Because they awesome. see what they said. They said, we were those kids. Wow. Like they came over when they were kids. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's so interesting. They're all keen to help um, support them. So we're going to work with them on that, which is totally awesome. So I learned that you, your freshman year of undergrad was in 1984. Yes, I am that old. Dave was 1975. All right, I win. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so talk to me about your freshman year. Were you excited to go to school? I was so excited to go to school because, you know, like like a lot of us, um, I got rejected at some schools I <laughs> applied to. What schools did you apply to? Uh, I applied to the University of Virginia. Because uh-huh. a lot of my friends from high school were going there, I got rejected. I got rejected. I applied for aerospace engineering, which was a bad idea, actually. Mm. It wasn't really my thing. Yeah. Um, but I really wanted to come to Boulder. That was actually my first choice, but I didn't think I could go because I couldn't afford it. Where were you living when you, were, um, when you like, graduated from high school? I was living in Virginia, okay. uh, outside of Washington, D.C. Got and it. My father was in the Navy. Mm-hmm. He moved around a lot, yeah. Anyway, I was, so, I was very excited to go to Boulder. Uh, I've gone out there for a visit, and it just felt right. Yeah. When you come on a campus, like, and that's kind of how I felt when I came here to, to the interview. It was like, it just it feels right. right. Yeah, there's something going on here, so... Yeah, I was excited. So 1984, get yeah. out to Boulder. Yeah, all um, by myself. All by yourself. Did yeah. you stay in the dorms? You want to know how I went off to college? Yeah, So I do. my parents were in the Navy and they were moving that night. They literally, the moving van came to the house and drove away. I literally waved goodbye to them in the 18-year-old, you know, waved goodbye to them in the, in the cul-de-sac. Spent yeah. The, spent the night at my girlfriend's house mm-hmm. and had my boyfriend's brother drive me to the airport the next day. Wow. Yeah. So you really, really did it just All on your own. Self. It was, was very scary. Yeah, actually. I was going to ask, was that like intimidating? It was was it hard? It was scary. I didn't think about it until I was like getting off the airplane at the Denver airport trying to figure out how to get to Boulder. <laughs> <laughs> and I had like three huge suitcases and a bicycle oh. and just, yeah. And the, and the Denver airport is deceiving because it's not in Denver. Oh no, <laughs> it was back oh, then. Oh yeah, it, it was in Stapleton, it right? Was back then. That's, That's true. Right. That's right. true. So yeah, it was kind of so we have this book in the in our office. Have you seen this? Called the A Game. Nine steps to better grade. When lost, ask questions. Let's unpack that. What do you think about that with freshmen? Well, I think you know what I think about that. I think that this is this is what happens with students, right? This is what happens with all of us. You get to college and you think, I don't know if I'm going to do this. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Think everybody, you think everybody else knows what they're doing, right? But they don't. They don't. <laughs> And if you ask a question, you can guarantee there's like 10 other people in the room that are going to be like, oh, thank God, I really wanted to ask that question. Mm-hmm. Do it. So, yeah, that's super, super smart. Do you want to hear a fun fact about me? Yes. I am terrified of flying. Really? Yeah. What are you scared of? Uh, what am I scared of? I, well, you know, despite the fact that I was under Secretary of the Navy, I uh, never really want to go in a submarine. Did you get to go on a submarine? Oh, I could Multiple. Have. I could have. Oh, did you not? I went on a submarine, but, but not never under the water. What it? What was? What was it about that that was well, freaky to you? Just, you feel like I mean, it just feels so claustrophobic, and like there's water mm-hmm. all around you, bursting in on you. Yeah. And it's not like I mean an oh. airplane where you could, I guess, jump out. But how many submarine accidents are there? Like, are there a lot? Like, we're no. no. The Russians have had. Like, yeah. A couple yeah, I don't know why like, flying just really I didn't have that problem when I was younger and now that I'm older I feel like I'm over really? I feel like I'm overthinking, You're overthinking it. it. You're overthinking it. Um and I need to chill out because yeah. well, traveling is help. really fun. It doesn't help that um, that flying in airplanes now is becoming increasingly uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. You know, you're crammed 
in there, like a sardine. You know, you would like it much better if you were up in the front, like that, looking out the face. I don't know if I would. Yeah, you. That would. might freak me out. No, I feel like. it's really beautiful. Is yeah. it? Yeah. Um, we're we're getting close to ending, so we're gonna do rapid fire question oh, rounds. No. All right, let's go. <laughs> this is just which would you rather have? Okay. You ready? Don't choice. think about it. It's just two things. Okay. Right. Chocolate or vanilla? Vanilla. Fall or spring? Fall. Oh, used to be spring, but then I got allergies. Winter or summer? Summer. Do you like cheese? These are important questions. Yes. Would Barack Obama want to be my friend? Absolutely. Okay. Are you scared of spiders? Uh, not really. Do you sing in the shower? Yeah. Can you do any celebrity impression? <laughs> I did, um, do a lip sync contest in college. What did you lip sync? Yeah. Which yeah. Madonna song? Dress you up. Yes. Dress you up. Did you win? Second. second place. Who won first place? Do you know? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, a friend of mine. He did lawyers, guns, and money. <laughs> That's awesome. Was, uh, I wish we did more lip singing contests I did here at MSU Denver. Contest another time with uh, friends that we did. Uh, David Byrne, Talking Oh, yeah, 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 I love Talking Heads. You know that song, And the Days, back in the more 80s music. Back in the 80s music, yeah, yeah it is full circle. Yeah. Um, are you mad at Jimmy Jimmy Fallon for taking lip sync battle? Like, uh, since that's, that's your jam? Would you would you no, lip sync battle Jimmy I'm sure, Fallon? I'm sure he should be fun, but... <laughs> I don't know, sometimes, sometimes the, the guests do way better than he does. Thank we were... Thank you, Dazza. We were just having an interesting conversation about DACA because we did a safe zone training hey, this morning. Hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, how many more people can I wave to than Steve? Hey, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs>